Hello again, a new day, a new project, and you see, I couldn't stand it, so I had to open up my second Ruck 8DB antenna. You know, if you remember, you have the link over there about the video when I was uh, measuring this antenna, you know, and it was absolutely nice tuned for 868 megahertz, and it's so funny, I couldn't wait to take it down from the roof even my experiment it's still running having this kind of amplifiers this is an ab iot 868 on the roof and i replaced this antenna with the one i made it from a coaxial cable and it i was really waiting for this you know to open it up you see it's absolutely the same length And here is the big surprise. Okay, consider this plastic things having like one millimeter. And if we measure this, it's on 0 0.7 point, let's say seven. So the measurements and the, the lengths of the tubes here are exactly the same like the antenna before tune for 935 megahertz. So how comes this one was very nice tuned or vibrating to 868. It was almost there. You know, this is really funny. And uh, some kind makes me think about uh, this last element here. You see, this one is perfectly the same, 31.3. Consider one millimeter the plastics uh, support. This is the key of tuning. Because even with my coaxial doing exactly the same uh, uh, structure, I had almost the same results. But this is so funny. Perfectly the same length. Perfectly the same cells. And this one was vibrating or tuned to 868 or in the area anyhow. It's it's absolutely interesting, and uh, that makes me think that uh, it's not so easy, in fact, to have a really nice tuned antenna. I've been reading a lot about ham radio and the uh, ham radio amateurs because they are really they are the masters of antennas and all the science about uh, you know uh, feed lines and filters and everything. And the point is, they said when somebody or a company is saying we have the best antenna on the market this is absolutely impossible you know having a perfect antenna for a perfect band or a perfect tuned frequency this is like uh, you know searching the end of the universe i think or <laughs> something like that but anyway this is kind of my discovery uh, i was hoping for something else in this tube but it's exactly the same like the antenna I was open it two months ago or something anyway. You got the video link over there. Okay, this uh, amplifier I'm testing now, not this one, the other one up in the attic. It's working really, really great. But you see, there is a difference. The other one I uh, test, it was like 15 dB gain for 868 megahertz. This one, it's only 13.5. Probably it's an RCL filter. I mean, resistors, capacitors, and inductances filter. Well, this is not exactly a, how can I say, a very sharp filter, like the so filter we are using for 868 uh, megahertz. This kind of filters, they are pretty uh, shallow, you know? They're not peak. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you. Uh, if you like, please push the like button, please subscribe. I'll be back in uh, two days, today is day five. I'll be back with the report about having this guy on the roof and uh, about the signals and all the rates and so on. Thank you so much. See you soon. And the most important thing, don't forget to have fun. Bye bye. <laughs>